What does Genesis 6-4 mean? Bill in the Bible. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. This final verse of Genesis 6 discusses the sons of God marrying women and producing a generation of renowned mighty men as noted earlier. These sons of God may have been human leaders who proclaimed themselves as divine. This was a common tactic of emperors and kings who often claimed divine ancestry or God-like traits. If this interpretation is correct, the passage serves to refute their claims. The forthcoming flood would demonstrate that these evil rulers had no divine nature. Their practice of taking any wives they chose reflects the common royal practice of maintaining multiple wives and harems. This verse also mentions a controversial group, the Nephilim. It's not clear that the Nephilim were the sons of God themselves. They may have been the offspring of the sons of God and the women they married. The text indicates that the Nephilim existed both in this era and afterward likely referring to the period following the flood. The Nephilim are mentioned again in Numbers 13.33. Here, the Israelite spies describe seeing a race of men in the Promised Land who made them feel like grasshoppers in comparison. Nephilim are often thought to be a race of giants, suggesting very large humans. Their mention in numbers, long after the Flood, implies a supernatural influence. Given that all humanity except Noah's family was wiped out by the Flood, this supports the idea that the Nephilim were the offspring of supernatural beings possibly fallen angels or demons and human women. Some scholars interpret this verse differently, comparing it to Matthew 22.30, and suggest that these were men possessed by fallen angels rather than biologically fathered by them. In either interpretation, the sons of God and human women did produce children who became famous as mighty men. Of old, these could have been merely powerful human men, or they could have been supernaturally empowered, enabling them to achieve extraordinary feats. Despite the significant controversy surrounding the Nephilim, it's important to note how little the Bible actually says about them. The scriptures are written for a purpose, and it is clear that providing details about the Nephilim is not a priority. Regardless of who or what they were, scripture considers other topics to be of much greater importance.